Hello students, welcome to our next video. Okay, so just a while ago we talked about finding the arc length S, then we move to finding the radius. Now let's talk about finding the angle. Okay, let's have this example. There is a central angle theta, and that is a known. And then the arc length being formed by the central angle have a measure of 15 pi meters. Okay? The radius is 20 meters. Now, how, how can we able to find the theta in degrees? Take note that arc length is equal to the product of the radius and theta in region. So again, you just need to divide both sides by radius, okay, para masolve natin ang theta. Okay, there you go. So theta or the angle measurement is equal to S over R. Now, you see here that the arc length S is 15 pi, so substitute. The radius is 20 meters, so substitute again. Now 15 divided by 20 is 3 fourths, right? Times pi, so 3 pi over 4. Theta is 3 pi over 4 regions. But you need to go back to the question. Theta must be in degrees. It means, therefore, that this 3 pi over 4 must be converted into degrees. So take note of the conversion again. So we multiply that to 180 pi over 180 degrees over pi, and that will give us 135 degrees. So what does it mean? The movement here, the angle here, theta, is actually equal to 135 degrees. Okay, so ganun niya. Okay, paano kung gawin natin mas medyo malali mapag-usapan natin? Now, there is a wheel. A wheel of radius 60 centimeters. We try to imagine this one as a wheel. The radius of that is 60 centimeters. You roll the wheel. Okay? Ni-roll mo siya. Siyempre, nag-move ng karoon ng distansya, right? So, nag-move siya to 780 pi centimeters distance. Ganun uh, kalayo ang pinuntahan after you roll that particular wheel. Take note na straight yung pinuntahan niya. Okay? straight path and that is assumption now determine the number of revolutions made after rolling the path it is the number of revolutions and take note again <clears throat> one complete revolution is 2 pi we go back to the formula theta is equal to s over r now ano ang 780 pi kung yan ang distansya na pinuntahan ng wheel Ano siya? Is it the radius or the arc length? Okay, that is the arc length. That is another term for arc length. It is actually moving. Nag-move na yung wheel, a circular object. Okay? Sa bawat move niya, nagkakaroon ng revolution. Siyempre, umiikot yung wheel. So, 780 pi, you divide that to the radius 60, will give you 13 pi. However, you go back to the question, ilang revolutions? We know that one revolution is 2 pi. So how can we get number of revolutions from 13 pi? So definitely, we just need to divide. 13 pi divided by 2 pi will give us 6.5. Okay? 6.5 revolutions. So ano ang kanyang ibig sabihin? Okay, you are moving. You try to imagine this one. Nagmo-move ka ng 6.5 revolutions. Okay. 1, 2, 3, wala na yun. 4, 5, 6, 6.5. O oh, yan, ganyan kahaba. Okay, because the wheel is rolling. It's okay. That's it. Okay, in our next example, a vehicle needs to travel 5 kilometers. How many revolutions are expected if the wheel's diameter is 80 centimeters? Okay, take note, diameter. Now, the circumference of that circle is 2 pi r. Now, we are referring to the wheel already in this case, okay? 
Now, the circumference of the wheel is equal to 2 pi times 40. Saan nang galing itong 40 na to? Because 80 centimeters actually is the diameter. Half of it is the radius. Okay? Kaya naging 40 ito. So, 2 times 40 times pi is 80 pi centimeters. This is centimeter versus kilometers. Take note of that. So, ano mangyayari? We need to take note that 5 kilometers is equal to 500,000 centimeters. Paano natin na-solve yun? We know that 1 kilometer is definitely 1,000 meters. And each meter, we have 100 centimeters. So, 5 times 1,000, we have 5,000 meters sa 5 kilometro. 5,000 meters times 100 um, centimeters will definitely give us okay, 500,000 centimeters. Okay? Now we continue. So the number of revolutions is... Okay. Bakit natin divide sa 80 pi? Kasi yan ay circumference of a circle. Yan na ang nagsasabing haba ng isang complete revolution. This is already the arc length of one complete revolution. Recognizing that the diameter is 80 or the radius is 40 centimeters. So the vehicle needs 1,989.44 revolutions to reach 5 kilometer distance. Ganun karami. Siyempre napakalayo ng 5 kilometers so. Definitely, makailang ikot yung will na yan just to reach that destination.